Hello my fellow gerbil lovers and welcome back to the gerbil vine. Also good morning if you can tell by my face in this video I have just woken up. Today is going to be a bit of a busy day for me so I did want to get a jump start on what I plan on doing today but first coffee. So let's jump into today's video and start boxing up our gerbil gift. So I did buy some supplies. I've got my tube of bubble wrap over here, as well as a medium sized shipping box. Um, it folds out to a box that's pretty decent sized. Um, I just used this exact same one when I sent my gerbil supplies to Germany. And the box held up really well going over the Atlantic a couple times. The package, I don't know if I ended up telling you guys this actually, but the package ended up getting sent back to me because it was like undeliverable. It was super frustrating. Um, so it literally just appeared outside my door one night in early December and I was like, what the heck is going on here? I sent this package in October, you know? But grateful that they returned it to me. So I ended up reshipping it because it was just a whole nightmare trying to get Canada Post to acknowledge that when they handed off the package to DHL in Germany, that DHL didn't do their job properly with delivering it. But Canada Post was just basically saying there was nothing they could do to help me. They couldn't give me a refund for the shipping because it came back to me. Um, so I ended up paying out of my own pocket um, to reship this item to her so that she could get the items for her gerbil, which was just ridiculous. I mean, she was waiting so long for it and it was just clear from Canada Post and from her interactions with DHL that nothing was gonna get sorted by going through the company, so I just took the initiative and just sort of resent it off myself and she ended up getting the package and everything was intact, so that was really great. Unfortunately, um, the little birthday cake toy she ordered came after her gerbil's birthday, but hopefully she can use it. So yeah, that was a whole ordeal, but I'm super glad that we got it sorted and that I just ended up resending it to her. Um, she was so happy and um, I didn't ask her for any of the shipping money back just because like it was just something nice to do um, for someone who's been really nice to me with gerbil care and advice since I've started out with my gerbils. So anyways, today we're back with another shipping video. This one we are sending off to the UK. So I did just go to PetSmart and I did want to quickly show you guys what I did end up getting. So first off, we've got this um, just three pack of Living World Nibbler Balls. All of these toys you will have probably seen in my most recent video on my channel, which was the PetSmart items for gerbils video. So I've got a three pack of Willow Balls, which are just like crack for gerbils. If you don't know, now you know. I've got this cute little hexagon toy. And and then we've got these little rainbow log chew sticks, which are dyed using vegetable juice. This was actually in the bird section, um, and I have bought this for my gerbils before, and they absolutely loved it. It did end up taking the bell off because um, it was super annoying to hear the gerbils dinging the bell all the time while they're trying to... So I thought that that was super cool and um, something that her gerbils might enjoy because mine were absolutely obsessed with it. So just a couple more items left in here. I've also got the... Full cheeks woven apple shaped chew. Just so you all know that if I do buy a toy like this, um, I do take out the glue part before giving it to my gerbils. And then we've got this full cheeks tunnel and hideaway. And it says that it's made out of Timothy hay and rice glue, which is really, really awesome. And definitely more natural than using like non-toxic white glue or something like that. So really cool. It's got these little cutaways here, which obviously the gerbils won't be able to fit through, um, but I have no doubt that they'll start chewing on these and just have a blast. Um, I know that she buries like a multi-chamber hide, so I'm hoping that this will be able to fit in the bin as well. If not, like maybe she could use it for out of tank time or something, but I thought that it was really cool and I'm really happy that it's using rice glue. It just shows me that the company is taking a step in the right direction and making changes for their small pets. It actually says this could be used for rabbits. I I don't know how big a rabbit is because I don't have rabbits, but this might look a little small. But for the, its intended purpose of being used with gerbils, I think that this is a great size. So the last item that I have and the one that sort of started this is this little Tiny Tail Ceramic Bathtub. Super cute, super bright and yellow. It's a, about the size of my hand here. She thought that this was just so absolutely cute and really needed to see a little gerbil in her life. So I offered to buy and ship the bathtub to her and then 
of course, once I was like out shopping for the bathtub, I was just like, okay, well, there's probably some other stuff that I could put in this box to send to the gerbils too. That it's not just like shipping one little single bathtub. Let's get started boxing up the items. This is a decent sized box. Um, I'm hoping the tunnel will fit. So let's check that out right now. Do you approve of this box? Thank you. So actually looks like it's the perfect size box, which is really awesome. So now we're going to box everything up properly. No. I'm so sorry about the struggle you're gonna have to go through to open this. But it's got a long journey and we literally wanna make sure it is secure. Might even line the box with some bubble wrap just to like extra. So this is what it looks like from my angle. We've got the tunnel here with some bubble wrap on top. Um, we've got the bubble wrap sand bath there, just all the little um, gerbil chews here that don't really need any protecting. Three pack of willow balls just on top there. All right, so that concludes the boxing up portion of the video. Um, I have a little handwritten note here that I'm just gonna include um, because I think that's like a bit of a nice personal touch just to include like a little note. So I'm gonna put that in there and then I will be heading out and driving over to the post office um, and I'll take you guys along with me. Um, so I'll see you shortly. All right, so I've got my package here and I'm just gonna go and drive over to Shoppers Drug Mart, uh, which has a Canada Post in it so that I can get some shipping quotes with the item. Um, I tried to weigh this on my scale and it was coming up as like 0.0. .0 which is incorrect. I mean, obviously this has to have a weight, so I think that it might be better if I just get it weighed there um, and then fill out the customs form and then get it shipped off. As you can see, it's extremely cold today. So I'm out of Canada Post in Shoppers now and I am back in my car. Um, so I purchased it today with tracking and I'm going to message her and let her know and give her all the tracking information and I will be sure to let you guys know when she does actually get the package. So I'm going to go drive home now and get warm because it is freezing. It is minus 12 today. You can see outside it is an absolutely disgusting day. It is cold and gray and snowy and just overall a really chilly day. So I'm going to go home and make myself a hot cup of tea and relax, watch some of my favorite YouTubers um, and just have a pretty chill day. So I'll update you guys soon and thank you so much for watching. Bye!